Now let's head to Battle Creek where Simon Shaked is standing by at a rally being held by the man at the center of all of this controversy. Of course, President Trump expected to take the stage soon, right, Simon? More and more crowds starting to arrive here in Battle Creek in anticipation of the president's speech set to take place at 7 p.m. Right behind me, you can see the stage where he will be speaking from together with his supporters and also the vice president. And as we pan around the room, you can see more and more people that have been filing in from really all around the country. We heard from a couple that came from 18 hours away all the way in Wyoming. Also, we're hearing from a lot of folks who live in this area here in West Michigan. They say the economy and they say national security and immigration and even tax cuts are the issues that they want to hear more about. They also want to hear more about the president's vision for another four years. And they also are sharing what they feel are some of the accomplishments of the president during his term. They've also weighed in, in addition to that, on the fact that yes, today, impeachment proceedings are taking place in the U.S. House. People from Illinois, Wisconsin, Indiana, Ohio that we've seen so far. So it's been quite an event. This is a state that no Republican had won since the 1980s. President Trump won it. Uh, we want to win it again in 2020. This is not a Republican state. However, we do believe that Michigan is a Trump state and we want to keep it that way. Of course, we'll be sharing much more both on air and online throughout the evening. And as those impeachment proceedings continue to play out, many are expecting to hear from President Trump referencing that. Even his national press secretary saying that he may be discussing that quite at length here this evening on that stage. We'll be here to bring you the very latest from West Michigan. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.